Shabbat Shalom. Parshat Baha'alot more than any other teaches us how to count our blessings. The laws regarding the tabernacle continue to be enumerated, including the lighting of the menorah. And then Israel sets off on its journey. And right away, what happens? The people complain. They say, we remember the fish we ate for free from Egypt. What is this? That we have to eat this manna, which wasn't like the Midrash where it tastes like anything you wanted. It was either coriander seed or uh, something that one uh, uh, creamed up in a, in a sense. But it was the same thing over and over again. At least that's what's implied from the people's complaints. The thing is, we are generally trained to be short-sighted and psychologically to focus on the negative, what is lacking, what we're missing, to see the past through rosy-colored glasses. But the truth in our tradition is that um, we make every moment count. We recognize the blessings that we have. We have all these gratitude practices. That's why we say a hundred blessings a day to be grateful constantly for what we have. And of course, the, one of the most famous gratitude practices, Dayenu, that would have been enough that we don't need to keep wanting more and more. We don't need to keep looking back at our past because chances are we're going to be seeing it not as it was, but as we wished it would have been or as we remembered it without the difficulties. That's how Israel, the Israelites can look back and they quickly see slavery through rosy colored glasses. They don't remember the oppression. They don't remember crying. They don't remember being whipped by the taskmasters. So while we are conditioned to have selective short memories, our goal is for us to appreciate each moment that we have as it is. Shabbat Shalom.